Hey everyone, it's James from Fun Foods, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make this homemade cream cheese from scratch. There's a cream cheese shortage going on, and this will fix your problems, so keep watching. You wanna start off with a very large pan like this. To this, we're gonna add eight cups of whole milk. And two cups of heavy cream. Bring this to the stove, we wanna heat it up over medium high heat. Heat this up over medium high heat. Make sure you stir it constantly. And right when it's at this point, right before it gets ready to boil, we're gonna turn our heat down to medium and slowly add in six tablespoons of white vinegar. See the curds start separating from the whey. Keep mixing. And now just go ahead and turn off your heat and let it rest for 15 minutes. After it's rested for 15 minutes, we're gonna put it into the strainer that has this cheesecloth in it, and then we'll squeeze out all the moisture. Okay, and we're just gonna take our cheesecloth and kind of bring it together. Drain out as much of that whey as possible. Now just let this sit here for about 15 minutes. So after 15 minutes, we're gonna open up our cheese, dump it out into a large bowl. And we're gonna add a half a cup of heavy cream half a teaspoon of salt and mix this up. And if you need it to be a little more creamy, make sure you save some of that whey, about a teaspoon of that whey. And when that's all done, we're gonna put it into a smaller dish now we're gonna transfer it into a smaller dish. Cover it with plastic, refrigerate for an hour. And after an hour, we're gonna pull our cream cheese out, open it up, and it looks nice and firm. Looks just like cream cheese. So I decided to put it on a bagel. Let's take some and just smear it on a bagel. The texture is very similar to like Philadelphia cream cheese, the kind I usually eat. Uh, it's not quite as creamy, but it's a good substitute. Now let's give it a try. So it's good. It's not as sweet as Philadelphia cream cheese. It's not as creamy as that, but uh, it will do the trick if you're in need of some cream cheese and you can't find it in the store, this will work. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me make this homemade cream cheese from scratch. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also hit that big red subscribe button and check out this video right here. And until then, I'll see you next time. Now we're gonna separate, oh. after 15 minutes, uh, and put it into a strainer with some cheese cloth. Uh, cloth. In the strainer that has some cheese cloth. So it's good, it, <clears throat>